Are you ready? Right, hello and welcome to another Let's Talk. Today I am joined by the lovely Lily, who's going to talk to us about her travels. Hi Lily, how are you doing? Hey Jason, thanks, I'm perfect, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you very much. So do you want to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, what you do? Sure, sure, absolutely. So my, name, my full name is Liliana Mustafina and originally I'm from Uzbekistan. Uh, however, now I live in Prague for, for almost four years and um, well, I started to travel once I moved to Europe, basically. At the moment, I'm studying at university. I'm about to graduate next year. And at the same time, I'm working at a full time. Uh, I have a full time position in the IT company. <laughs> so this is how I live here. So what made you do the initial move and, and move to Prague? Uh, it's, uh, it's actually a long story, but I can, I can try to explain it briefly. So basically, from the, let's say, like when I was five years old, I started to think about trips, about different countries, how people live there, what do they have there, like uh, a lot of different things. And I was like really wondering, and I was dreaming about actually trying to travel somewhere. However, you know, um, living in, <laughs> in the part of Asia, it's a bit hard to travel to Europe. Mm -hmm. First thing is a uh, visa requirements. Um, it's not easy to get a visa. Second thing, um, of course, uh, the prices for trips. If you travel from that part, yeah, uh, it's <laughs> it's a bit expensive. And you know, I have a uh, like kind of big family. I have brother and also sister. Therefore, um, it was a bit costly, of course, for my parents, and I understood that. Uh, so then um, I was growing up and finally when it was a time to choose the school to, uh, to choose the university I have decided to, to move to Europe and my parents were happy and they fully supported me with my idea <laughs> therefore now I live in Czech Republic and uh, I'm traveling <laughs> Brilliant. How did you feel when you first saw a move there? Was it a very uneasy experience or were you just so oh. like, happy? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> it, it was like, I even cannot explain it because, you know, once you just move to another country, because here I'm just, I was alone. I didn't have friends. I didn't have like uh, any relatives here. So I was absolutely alone in the like, in a big country, I mm -hmm. thought. <laughs> And first time it was a bit hard to, to, you know, to get used to the culture, to local people, to food, to different places. And I was actually like first two months was uh, horrible for me. <laughs> but after that, I found a friend. I started to be like, you know, more flexible. Mm -hmm. I started to learn language and then I started to travel. And I understood that, yeah, this is what I wanted. <laughs> In the Prague, which was the first place you sort of traveled to? Uh, first place, um, well, firstly, I met here uh, one of my Czech friends. Mm -hmm. She's she's like a really, really nice girl. Like, <laughs> I don't know, one of the best person in this world, I think. She was really kind to me. And she actually the one who who showed me the local cities. And the first trip I think I made with her, we went to, well, first, uh, firstly, we were traveling around the Czech Republic and then we went to Germany. We went to Dresden together for the Christmas market, which was awesome. Then we went to Vienna, to Austria, and it was amazing. And yeah, <laughs> she, was, she was actually the one who said like, come on, just go around, it's amazing amazing world around us so just you should try it uh, and yeah it was it was so brilliant and uh, this is why I actually started uh, to find a job to find any position somewhere 
just because I wanted to collect more and more money and then just mm -hmm. go somewhere and travel. Oh, that's brilliant. Is she the one who sort of travels with you a lot of the time or is... Uh, well, nowadays I'm traveling with absolutely different people. <laughs> Sometimes I can even travel alone, but yeah, some of, so some of my trips I spent with her. Would you uh, say has been your best trip so far that you've been on? Whoa! <laughs> it's a tricky question. Uh, hard to say. It's really hard to say because for me, all the time when I'm uh, when I'm visiting different countries, I see different people, I see different places, and it's really hard to say that, oh, okay, I like this more and I don't like the previous place. No, it's not. You're like, you're finding something different in each of the places. So... <clears throat> At the moment, I cannot say like what, which place is the best one. Mm -hmm. But also, also during the current situation, you know, uh, most of our trips, most of the like entertainment parts of the trips were cancelled. And during the Corona situation, uh, I can say that I traveled to one of the place and I was literally shocked, like in positive way, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like. Uh, this summer I had a trip to Croatia and I was thinking okay let's like I didn't plan it before but like my friend said that it's it's a good place to travel like you will enjoy and see food like places everything is fine there it's like okay let's let's try mm -hmm. I I didn't have like anything in my mind I thought like okay that that will be just like a trip to see something new but when I came there it was so nice. It was so amazing. I was so happy that they went there because it's, I don't know, during like, you know, after sitting at home for like three months God, yeah. and my first trip was to Croatia and it was insane. I was so happy to be there, you know, food, places, sea and cities. It's, it's insane. <laughs> so I was really happy that I had the opportunity to to go there during this pandemic crisis so yeah no I, I'm, I'm still sort of waiting for mine we've still been on a complete oh, national lockdown i'm so sorry for you well at the moment we too actually in czech republic we are still under the lockdown at the moment therefore <laughs> we are looking forward to to have a new trips where would you say would be then your first trip if, if all of a sudden everything just stopped and ended where would you like run to oh. from? Well, actually, it's a secret, but especially for you, I can tell you here. <laughs> so, um, first trip, I am planning to go to Switzerland, to Alps, because, oh my God, it's Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And I really miss, uh, you know, uh, skiing and I want to see the snow around and I want to have like this Christmas mood. So anyway, once, it, uh, once I have a possibility to go there, I'll definitely <laughs> run there. <laughs> yeah, and the second trip, which mm -hmm. I'm also having in mind, oh, it's uh, it's the trip which I was waiting for a long time. Mm -hmm. I wanna see the Northern Lights. Yeah. And I think I'll go to Finland. I oh, I really wanna <laughs> I really wanna <laughs> see them because it just I think it's just a fairy tale to see the Northern Lights. So. I yeah. just wanna, Sweet. I wanna see it by my eyes. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm just thinking about it and I'm creating a plan. And I hope that soon we can realize all of our plans and dreams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a shame we have to live in this sort of society where it's, it's easier to travel as a guy than it is a girl. Cause of course, how would you say you're finding that? Do you notice these difficulties or do you think it's quite easy? Honestly, I think it's up to the person because once I decide to travel somewhere, I don't care about any kind of these factors. I just go, I just do whatever I want to do. Uh, because you, when you travel, you don't like, you don't really like, you know, think about this part because you're excited to see the city, to see the country, to see many nice places. And luckily I have never faced this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. However, I can say that in my life, I had really, really bad situation during my trip. It was maybe like three years ago, I guess. Um, it was <laughs> in one of the hotels in Turkey. 
uh, we had a perfect vacation with my mom and sister. Uh, they were like uh, three of us, <laughs> so basically three girls. Yeah. And uh, it was amazing. The hotel, everything, stuff, food, view, see, everything was perfect. However, when it was last day before we leave, before we left, actually, we realized that from the hotel room, we packed all of our like uh, stuff, mm -hmm. and we realized that um, somebody stole our money from the hotel room. Really? It was it it was like so bad. Like yeah, it's not about like money, you know. It's just about the attitude how like people did because we were just out and when we came like to the room and we realized that and it was like five-star hotel and <laughs> we were so disappointed uh then i asked my uh, manager to come uh once he came it was already night and i explained him the situation the thing is my mom she doesn't speak english really well right yeah. and my sister was too small you know and i was only the one who was explaining the situation and saying like how, how could it happen like and then he like he's you know he was not that polite to me and he said like it's your problem like i don't care like literally and yeah and i was like how come like how could you say that yeah and yeah it was like really bad situation but after all we just tried to forget about it because um our trip was like traveling was really really nice and only of course this bad situation which could happen to anybody mm -hmm. so i would recommend you guys once you're traveling somewhere just keep your cash with you always <laughs> yeah a similar thing happened to me actually when i went to uh, mallorca we, we were just on the beach and we we're just sort of <coughs> relaxing and, and then this guy came over with like a plate or a huge yeah packet, yeah oh melon. And then he just cut them up, give them to me and the lads, and then immediately started asking for money. And we're like, whoa, like we didn't ask for this. <laughs> That's and then true. he literally just swiped one of my mate's bags and legged it. Oh my God. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it was his own fault because I told him to put his money away as soon as the, the other guy came with melons. And I was like, I'll just put your money away. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know the situations. <laughs> When you're traveling you just use instagram mainly to sort of document your journey uh yes yes at the moment yes but um i think soon i will start to use a tiktok as well <laughs> oh, okay. yeah but at the moment i have all of my followers all of my friends in instagram and they're like they're really happy to see me traveling to see my pictures for us they always commenting writing me mm -hmm. some like feedbacks and that's that's great for me so so far i'm happy with instagram but of course let's see what's going to be in the future yeah of course do you get a lot of feed, like positive feedback and stuff from from just strangers who just sort of see you traveling and that? sometimes yeah yeah sometimes yeah because you know as i said i'm from uzbekistan and a lot of people there also they just they just dream to travel somewhere and when they see of course some places where i've been to they are commenting, they're saying, wow, that's that's super great. Like, we are happy for you. And I really wish that a lot of people who really want to travel one day, they would have this opportunity to make, the, make their dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Do you use just your phone to document it? Or do you have like a specific camera that you take? Um, I have also a camera that, of course, most of the time I use my, <laughs> my phone because um, my camera is mostly for taking pictures, you know. But the phone is always with me, so I can like simply open my camera and start shooting everything was happening around. So on your big bucket list then, of course, you've said where you sort of want to go ideally. Where's some of the other places that you haven't been to, but still want to go to, but X amount of years in the future? Uh, sure. Well, uh, I have actually great plans for the trip, so <laughs> that's the right question, if I, I would say. Okay. Um, I'm planning to go to Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go to Athens and they may, then maybe to Mykonos, but yeah, Santorini. Well, <laughs> so many nice islands there. So yeah, I will think about it, of course. Also, um, I was thinking about uh, 
other countries in Europe, which I haven't been to yet. Uh, Poland, it's really close to Prague. Hopefully soon I will I'll be there. Then uh, Latvia as well. Um, yeah, and many, many other different countries. Iceland, for example, as well. That's that's one of the like also countries which is in my list to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I have like you know a lot of plans to to visit that. Yeah, to visit these places, and in the future I'm planning to go to USA as well. But I think it's another story and. <laughs> I'm gonna have there a lot of trips. Yeah. We say like, yeah, especially with the yeah. Americans, that's a massive place. So that absolutely, would... absolutely. And of course, I cannot forget to mention that I'm planning to go to Great Britain. <laughs> I really hope that it will happen next year. <laughs> the only thing why I cannot go there is because of the visa requirements, as I said. Yeah. Um, yeah. But once the COVID is kind of like a bit over, let's say, I'll definitely apply for visa and. Hopefully, I will see you soon. <laughs> yeah, it will be brilliant to have you around here. I can definitely show you around. Because I've just used the lockdown sort of to plan your international, sort of, not international, <laughs> national uh, trips and really explore England a lot more. That's true, true. How do you then financially sort of balance the travel and that? Like, how do you sort of keep track of your money and what you're spending on, on the trips? Yeah, that's... <laughs> um... Well, I think it's it also depends on the person. For example, I travel, then I work hard, then again I travel, and then I again work hard. So, um, but it's really hard when you have studies, <laughs> when you have your studies at the same okay. time. Yeah, therefore, um, usually I have really short trips, and <laughs> I'm trying to do my best to see like most of the places there. Regarding the money, um, well, the thing is, before I'm going somewhere, I am always have a plan. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to see. And I always book, like, trying to book at least everything in advance, like, at least hotel, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, you're just, like, coming to the city and you realize that, well, you're not actually spending your money, but <laughs> you don't have them. <laughs> you don't know how, but you just... I, they just disappeared. For example, I had a case when I was in, uh, I was in Norway. Mm -hmm. I guess it was l not last summer, but summer before. I went to see my friend there, and I went there alone because she was living in a small city uh, near of Oslo. Mm -hmm. And first thing I did, I came to Oslo. I spent there several days, and I understood that it's one of the most countries I have like one of the most cities I have ever been to because <laughs> literally you're you don't know what like on what you're spending your money that they just like disappearing from your wallet you know <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but yeah I enjoyed the Norway because Norway is again it's a different story the nature in Norway is insane so I was and then I was happy that I had the opportunity to to see it yeah for real when you're traveling what benefit and sort of effect do you think that has positively on your mental health yeah oh i think a lot it has a lot of positive things on my mental and physical health at the same time for example um i think traveling is like you know it's about uh relieving the stress and uh anxiety and additionally, uh, like personally for me, travels, traveling just uh, makes me happy, <laughs> makes me even more happier than just like staying at home sometimes. Um, also, also one fact about traveling is it, uh, it improves your creativity. So once I started to travel, I realized that I can, uh, I can take really nice pictures, videos, and yeah, that's, that's, like really <laughs> really good thing that I got from travel also um, like traveling to different countries in my case I learned more about different cultures yeah. countries and I tried a lot of new food which is <laughs> which is also very important for us 
while you're traveling, you can of course expand your networking. So there are a lot of positive yeah. things. <laughs> I think I only did I backpacked Europe three weeks, and the amount of people who I sort of got in contact with and met it's uh, it's crazy to then have that almost global reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything <laughs> yeah. final that you'd sort of like to say to anyone who's listening or watching? Sure, sure, of course. So, guys, just <laughs> keep going and never give up. Whatever you plan, whatever you think, and if you really feel that it's something that you can do or you want to do, just go ahead, do whatever you can, never give up. Don't look at other people, don't listen to them. If they're saying no, just stop or like think about it like many times, do it. If you feel that it's yours, just do it because it will make you happy in the end. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to the show. Um, thank you too. Right. So thank you very much for watching that episode. Hope you enjoy the links to check her out and her Instagram will be in the description and stay tuned for another episode.